Horse or pony stand, and you can see now he's on his way out to work. And although he wants to go to work and he's happy to go out, etc., etc., he is standing when he's told. Now, on the other film, you'll see him. That's it. And this is a novice on here, make no mistake. She's been with me three weeks now and she's been driving every day. And she's just a good little driver, confident little driver. She had minor experience before going out with someone with a with a, a pony half a dozen times. So her main experience obviously has been here. So you see her control him, lovely, slack rein, he's standing, doing as he's told, disciplined, lovely. Okay. For longer, because all we're teaching him, that's better, so all we're teaching him, she's got to step over that, you see, you know, that old road sign there. And that's better controlled. And this is the same old thing we're doing all the time, and it? it's just get building the confidence in the horse. And I've got a novice doing it, so please don't come back to me and say, well, I've got years of experience, and he's done this with me, and he's done that with me. There's a lassie doing it. You've seen her driving the river on her own. Um, you know, everything she's done today, she's been on the range, hasn't she? And she's controlling the pony get him to do what he's got to do so not only in the arena but out on the road your standard of what you think you can drive at and my standard could be miles apart Look at what he's doing Now this chap, who owns this horse, and this is where the problem is. What he would say, not lovely fella, but what he would say along with everybody else, I've been driving for years, yeah? But it's how you drive and who you're with to learn from that gives you the experience to say that this lass is safe to take this horse in the water or around here on her own, right? Because she's worked with the horse, she's worked with me, and I've told her. What this man drives like, I've never seen. And I have loads of people say to me, I've been driving for 20 years. Well, let me tell you something. My granddad laid bricks all his life, yeah? And the last one he, he laid was no better than the first one, because he hated the job and never was any good at it. He got by, but that's all he done. And there's a lot of people in the driving world exactly the same. What they want to do is put a hat on their head, wear a nice apron, I've got me brown gloves, I'm doing it with one hand. Um, I could do all that. You know, put my brown gloves on, drive a coach, do anything you want. This is nothing to do with that. What this is to do with is the horse, the welfare of the horse, the what's best for the horse, and training the horse within the horse's capability. Yeah. And just because you've driven horses, don't mean to say you can get up and drive this horse. And that is what I'm saying. Or even if they've been driving for years, and you say, well, I think you need some lessons, they almost get insulted, and wouldn't necessarily take your advice or listen to what you're saying because they believe that they can do it anyway which isn't always the case and that's that's where you know we can only advise people if they don't want to follow that advice then you know there's not a lot well, we, we can get do. it goes from here it goes with my reputation on it oh barry Oak broke that well i'm telling you now that horse there this particular one i would want it here longer to bring it up to the standard that i would want you see him stand there say, well, you're crazy. What's wrong with that? He's lovely. He's doing his job. 
A little bit of scooty there, wasn't it? You see it on the film. Why? We don't know yet, but we'd find out. Went over it and over it again, got used to it. He'll be out on the road. All right with the traffic, you see something a little bit unusual. Got some ladders on the top or a trailer on the back. He could lose it for a few strides. Well, that is not trained. That is not to the standard we produce them. When we produce them, they should go anywhere and take no notice of anything. If you look at the films, that proves it. That's what it's there for. So people can see. needs to do is go away let him get to know the horse again let him to exert his authority on the horse like grooming it picking its feet up doing it leading it out standing it walking it around in traffic doing all them sort of things right to keep him you know to keep him in charge of the horse rather than the horse doing what he likes then come back to me and spend some more time you know just polishing him and getting him used to it. She's a lad that owns his grey horse. In my opinion, he's no driver. I don't think he's, he's a, a, a competent driver, in my opinion. Foggy's on automatic pilot at the minute, so he's doing as he's told. He's not been asked a question um, at all, right? So, you can see that. Um, so, what we've done, he's brought his friend with him, and I've got his friend to sit down on there now the, his friend is horseman he's a rider not a driver so what we've done we've put a, a line on there onto his head collar so if the fellow's got a problem he can step off but it's been their choice to to take the horse out with me covering them behind and going past them in front and being with them but not actually with them as such they want to take him home early and drive him it's their choice he's been here six weeks i warned him he might be here seven possibly eight weeks he had a bad start in life and you know but they want to take him home and drive him so it's their choice already this horse has started to lose confidence in his driver as if you see the first bit of film and now he's just saying you there you sure and i think he said he had a bad horse before that was really ill-mannered and hard to drive and everything like that and he managed with him well he might have been the cause of the horse being the way he was i don't know nothing to do with that how much experience you got and all that there's plenty of people out there with the written they got loads of experience and uh, you know just because you drove for years don't make you a driver not by any means Down here. I think 
Get on the way. <laughs>